Hello again, everybody. This is Lana from Modern Home Systems Rancho Santa Fe bringing you another tech tip. Adding album artwork in iTunes. Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how to add your own artwork to albums in your iTunes. Uh, we all probably have an iTunes library. And inside of our iTunes library, uh, you might have a few of these guys. Uh, these little musical notes. Uh, that's from you know, songs you may have downloaded from other um, applications or online or even just um, got maybe a corrupted file and the artwork has been missing or let's say even um, had a burn CD in the past and you uploaded some songs off that burn CD and there wasn't any metadata and metadata basically is the information inside of the file that adds the artwork, the actual name of the band and the album title, things like that which you can change the metadata information um, by you know, right clicking or two finger clicking on it and going into get info. Uh, and I'm going to get into this right now and actually show you how to add the artwork for the artist. As you can see, I have a lot of songs on here with all pictures on there. Uh, they may have been some songs that uh, just individual songs, but I like to have a picture on there. Uh, for me, it looks nice and neat having a picture even if it's not the stock picture sometimes I even like changing the stock picture of the album because when I'm on my phone I like when I pick a song for the picture comes up on the screen uh, for me it's just uh, you know something I enjoy having on there I'm not a big fan of just a random song popping up and no album artwork I think it looks nice and neat when you have it on there so I'm gonna show you a few ways of adding your own artwork uh, the first down here uh, with a band I like uh, called throw down here uh, there's no album artwork here uh, the first step in getting album artwork is um, when you go into Get Info, and we're going to go to Info here. Uh, you can get the name of the song, the, the artist, uh, and the album artist, of course, and the album name. Usually with those uh, listed on there properly with whatever the current album is, the name of the song, uh, you can go into the actual song, right-click, as long as it has the right album name, the right um, album artist, and song title. Um, you can go in here, and if you're lucky enough, you can just hit Get Album Artwork. And you just select here, Get Album Artwork. And it'll basically go inside of the system, and it'll find that album artwork for that um, album. It won't work on every single song, but um, in, in this case, it worked really well. It actually, I had the right name of the title of the album, uh, the band, and the actual song name. And through that criteria, the, those listings that I entered in there, it actually found the album artwork, which is really nice. Um, and in other cases, uh, you know, let's try it on here. We have Pharrell Williams' Girl. Let's say I hit get album artwork, I select it, doesn't work. Um, something in there is just not right. It's not finding the album artwork. Even if I change the name and all the info for it, and I'm still not able to get it, I'm gonna show you how to actually go and get a photo and add it in there yourself. And to do so, what we're going to do is go down to Safari. Uh, in Google, we're going to type in what we're looking for. There we go. Pharrell, uh, excuse me, Pharrell Williams Girl. Uh, we're going to hit images for this one because we're going to want an image of the album. I put uh, the artist name and right next to it I put the actual name of the album. We're going to hit images. And then we'll see, we'll get a lot of uh, hits here of Girl, uh, his latest album. I'm just going to go with the first one here. You can see the image right here. Um, you can actually right click on the image or two finger click on your trackpad and it brings up a list here. Uh, what we're going to want to do is there's two ways you can go about it. We can either, with this here, we can go right into copy image address. Uh, what I like to do is usually go to the actual image here on view image. It'll bring it on this page. Uh, with this page here, I can actually right click into it. It's gonna give me a couple options. I can do save image as, and it'll automatically give it a name. I'm gonna save it to the desktop, and you'll see it pop up over here. Uh, with this image now, let me click back here. I can, you know, double click, open it up in a preview window. Uh, I can select it by going to edit, select all. Uh, you can go edit, you can copy. I'm going to close this out. I can go right in the song. Again, two finger click on the trackpad or right click. Go to Get Info. I'm going to go down to Artwork. Then in this area, I can hit Add. 
course, I'm going to hit where the picture is located here on the desktop. I'm going to go to desktop. There it is. And open. And there you go. It adds it to it. Hit OK. And there you go. I have the album artwork in there now. All right. I'm going to show you another way of doing this as well. I'm going to go back and get info. I'm going to delete this and say we're back here at this uh, this area. If I didn't have this here and this say um, I didn't have it on my desktop, the actual image itself, what I can do is if uh, I think this is a lot quicker way than actually saving this and then worrying about deleting this later. If you just right click or two finger click on your trackpad, go down just to copy image, go to the song you would like, get info by right clicking. Just tap in this area and then all we have to do is basically paste it right inside and hit OK. And you can see there's the photo. You know what? It's a really cool thing to do. Um, you don't have to use, uh, in this case, I, this is just a single of the song Happy. Um, I don't have all the songs on here. Same as this. I only have one song from this album. Uh, just for something. Uh, uh, and I have very limited space in my phone, so I put a few songs in there. And at the time, I was really jonesing for these two songs, so I wanted to put them on my device uh, so I don't have the whole album. For this case, you know, if it's just for one song, you can even customize um, that one track with your own picture. Uh, and, you know, as simple as you don't have to have uh, the actual girl album on there. You can go into even just have Pharrell Williams. If you just want a picture, go into images. Uh, you can have a picture of Pharrell Williams here. I'm going to go into this. Same thing. Copy. I'm going to get info. And I'm just going to replace this one with an actual picture of Pharrell Williams. Hit OK. And there you go. So you can put a, even if you recorded a song yourself and you want your own um, album artwork on it, you can take a picture of yourself and add it to there. It's a really cool thing uh, to be able to customize. And now you can see I have a really clean um, iTunes uh, library here. You know, it, it it's I think looks a little bit nicer. Uh, you know, it's not necessary, but again, when you're when you're scrolling through it and you can actually see a picture along with the album name, I think it really makes it stand out a little more, makes it look a little more organized. Uh, and for me, that is very beneficial. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tech tip and you put it to use yourself. This is Lano signing off. Have a good one. And for any more information, feel free to contact us here at the Rancho Santa Fe location and we'll be glad to help.